Steven Strasburg will stand in. And he, of course, is no slouch up there as he, in fact, took home the Silver Slugger Award for National League pitchers a season ago. Trying to move the runner into scoring position here, but this is a foul ball. Misses the bunt attempt, and we'll see what's up now on 0-2. Two pitches out of the strike zone and two failures to get the bump down. Now what are they going to do 0-2? Fouled back. Good waste pitch, 1-2. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Nationals have yet to crack the hit column thus far. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. And you know, as a hitter, with the runner at first and one out, I think I'm going to see something down in the zone because I know they want me to hit into a double play. Instead, they go ahead and they challenge him up and I don't think he was expecting that. And this is off the glove of Ruiz as it bounds away. But fortunately, no advance. And Span will watch another one miss. It's 2-0 now. Yeah, no offer at the curveball. No offer at the changeup. And now he's stuck in a fastball count here, 2-0. Now a ground ball towards the hole. And Howard will amble over to the bag for the putout, and that ends the inning. Paul Hamill will start things off here for the Phillies. Top of the order, Jimmy Rollins to follow. And a high strike there, 0-1. Now the pitch. And a decent swing from Hamels there, but he comes up empty, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Now that he's fully loose out there, you can see he's getting a little more zip on that fastball than he had coming out of the gate. And this is on the ground towards Zimmerman, but foul wide of the bag. Boy, tough to lay off, but he's glad he did. It's 1-2 now. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Well, the reason he's having the success he's had so far comes down to one main reason. He's changing speeds effectively. Now you saw it in evidence right there. That's what you got to do to be a big time pitcher. Jimmy Rollins will dig in again. He grounded out to start the home first. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. In there, and it's 0-2 now. It's just so hard to sit curveball when the pitch before is 96. It's almost a situation where you have to guess one pitch and hope you guess right. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Yeah, both these two starters are matching each other in the early inning, stride for stride. He's an out away now from a 1-2-3 bottom of the third. Lance Nix will stand in here hoping to at least put a ball in play here this inning. And this looked to be on the corner, but just perhaps a hair outside. It's 1-0. 
Yeah, and coming right off of that strikeout, he's got to be thinking he should be ahead of this next guy. That's a tough way to fall behind. Now a ball lined to the right side. And the Phillies have their first hit of the ball game. And after going strikeout, strikeout to start the inning, it looked like he was on his way to an easy one, two, three. After the base hit there, he's going to have to work now with a two out base runner. So a runner at first with two away, and making his way in is the second baseman, Chase Utley. In there, and it's 0 1. But now you got to regroup after the two out single. You're in a dangerous spot in the lineup, so the inning's not over yet, not by a long shot. Breaking ball swung on and grounded to second. Throw on to LaRoche takes care of him, and with that, the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Three innings complete, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Bryce Harper will stand in now to get